If you're always on the go and need to securely access your corporate network or land behind the server, this is the right video for you. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talks, I'll demonstrate how to create a client-to-site VPN with the RV340 series router and an Android device. First, I access my router. Once I'm logged in, I need to create a user group. This user group will house my user accounts. Those user accounts will then be able to access the VPN. To do this, I'll navigate to System Configuration and then User Groups. I'll create a new group by clicking on the plus icon, enter a group name, and click Apply. Next, I'll click on User Accounts. Under Local User, I'll click on the plus icon and enter a username and password for the account. For Group, I'll select the group I just created from the dropdown and click Apply. Next, I'll navigate to VPN and then the Client to Site option and click on the plus icon. I'll make sure to select Cisco VPN Client and enable the VPN. I'll enter a group name. The group name is the name of the VPN tunnel I'm creating. For interface, I'll choose the interface with internet connection. In this example, it's WAN1. I'll enter a pre-shared key. Under User Group Table, I'll click on the Add button and choose the group I created earlier. For Pool Range, I'll enter a range that is different than my RV340 series network and my client's network. I can also add a secondary DNS server. For this example, I'll enter 8.8.8.8 .8 as a backup DNS server. This is the DNS server for Google and is totally optional. In this example, I'm going to enable Split Tunnel. You don't need to enable Split Tunnel for the VPN to work. Split Tunnel allows you to define which networks you want to access over the VPN. This can be useful if you only want to grant VPN access to certain networks and deny access to other networks on the RB340 series. Split Tunnel will only send the client's traffic through the VPN if it's destined for the defined networks. All other traffic will be sent out of the client's default gateway. In this example, I want to grant access to my router's network. I'll enter the IP address and network mask of my network. If I had more networks that I wanted to grant client access, I would enter another IP address by using the plus icon. This looks good, so I'll click Apply to save the changes. Now I'll show you how to connect to the VPN from an Android device. Keep in mind that there are numerous versions of the Android operating system, and your options may differ from what's shown in this video. On my Android phone, I'll go to Settings. Under Connections, I'll click on More Connection Settings and click on VPN. I'll click on the three vertical dots icon on the left and select Add VPN Profile. I'll enter a name. Under Type, I'll select IPsec XAuth PSK and enter the public IP address of my RV340 series router. Under IPsec Identifier, I'll enter the name of my VPN tunnel that was defined in the RV340 series. I'll enter the pre-shared key I created on the RV340 series and enter the username and password I created for my user account. I'll click Save. I'll click on the profile I just created and click Connect. Now you can see that I'm connected. I can make sure my client is connected by checking my RB340 series router by navigating to Status and Statistics, then System Summary. Under VPN Status, I can see one connected session for easy VPN type. I've now configured a client-to-site VPN using the RB340 series router and an Android device. Now it's your turn. Set this up to enjoy the benefits of a private and secure connection. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.